I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from the Black Business School and I was going through all the questions from my students and I was almost done. I had I answered 20 30 questions today and um, I got to one that I realized that I needed to answer on video and uh, because I just think it's really one that um, a lot of people have and one that I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit. Um, the question came from Aaron Torrance, uh, a student in the Black Wealth Boot Camp. Um, he wants to ask, what are good incentives to offer other people during the startup phase of your company uh, uh, if you can't pay them until you make a profit? For example, excuse me, starting two lemonade stands in different locations and not being able to pay your help until you make a profit or, for instance, bringing in college students that are studying in the field you need assistance in. Um, first thing I'll say is that I haven't had much luck working with college students. Um, uh, it's not to say that I won't work with them. I've worked with a few. But even with my own kids, what I found is that young people at that stage are just generally not mature enough to be as consistent as you need them to be um, in a business. Um, you know, some some of them are. I'm sure there are great ones out there. And I've met a couple. I've worked with a couple uh, who just did an amazing job. But what happens is, um, you know, when you bring in new people, there's an investment you have to make in terms of time. You have to train them on how to do things. And uh, that takes a lot of your time, a lot of your resources. And so uh, the last thing you need is somebody to go through all that training and then have them just quit out of the blue and that's kind of what young people might do they either they, they may bounce out and disappear or they um or they think that they you know that it was okay for them not to show up for work because they had a test that day and uh and those are signs of immaturity to be honest with you they what they don't understand yet at that stage is they don't understand that you know the world doesn't is not going to feel sorry for you because you had a test uh the world is not going to sort of sit back and sort of you know allow you to just sort of screw people or cause them to lose lots of money because you had a test right but you learn that when you're 27 28 years old but you may not know that at 19 or 20 so um, uh, I find I don't really have a lot of interns um, uh, I if I did I'd probably have one person to just manage the interns and make sure that the expectations are clear that we can make sure everybody covers for everybody else uh, in case you know some people start flaking out and dropping off but the other hard part is you got to go to universities and work with their offices to get them to send people and it's just it's just a pain I mean I don't really I honestly don't really know if internship programs um, are really worthwhile um, maybe paid situations work better uh, because at least when you pay people you have the, the right to ask for accountability uh, if I'm giving you my, if I'm giving you my money then uh, I can tell you look I need you to do this by Tuesday by nine o'clock and and you need to deliver for me um, now uh, in terms of the other question that you had uh, you were asking about incentives to get people to invest and support your company when you can't pay them um, first of all I'd avoid that situation if I could I would really because the thing is when you first start in your business you don't know what the terrain is going to hold you don't know what is going to happen you might think you know but if you've never been in that line of business and you've never actually run a company in that industry you really have 90 percent of that terrain that is that you're not going to even be able to truly foresee you, you i've seen it a million times where people will start a business and say oh yeah i'm going to start making patties pies or whatever it is that you're making and and everybody's going to come buy them because everybody loves me and everybody loves pie so it's going to be great everybody's buying pie these days patty bill bell made three million dollars i'm gonna make you know uh, boyce's pies and they're and they're gonna sell like hot cakes too and then you get out there and you find the demand isn't what you thought it was uh the needs are not what you thought thought they were the opportunities are not what you thought they were you're pivoting you're constantly having to pivot you're having to change the business model even twitter even twitter was a pivot i don't know if i, I if, you, if you guys are uh, knew this but in the uh, boot camp we talked about this where twitter was actually uh just a feature on a, a bigger product and so as a result what happened was they put out uh this this product and they found that that twitter um that 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 was what people liked that they didn't actually like the product they liked the tweeting so they said let's pivot let's focus on the tweet and drop everything else and next thing you know they have a company that's probably worth 50 60 80 billion dollars i don't know how much twitter's worth i know their revenue's over a billion but i think they're worth maybe 50 billion or more so um so you got to understand <sighs> The re what this links back to to what I was saying about um about bringing in partners and getting people to work for you for free is that in many cases the only way you can get somebody to come and work with you for free reliably this is an if is if you give them equity a percentage of the company that I mean you can ask them to volunteer 
and guess what a volunteer is going to put you at the bottom of the priority list so your your stuff the stuff that you that you think is important that has to get done they're going to do it if they have time if they feel like it and if they don't feel like it they're not going to deliver you anything because there's no accountability you're not paying them um but then if you give them equity the question is well how much equity do you give I, i've seen this a thousand times where somebody will give away a third of their company to somebody that they because they feel like they really need this person's function and then later on find out that they didn't need that person or that the person was a horrible partner that they're not even committed to the project but there's believe me though you give them 30 percent they still going to show up and pick up their thir their 30 percent they'll take you to court to get their 30 percent so when you put in all the work and you built the company into something that's worth 10 million dollars oh they're going to show up for their 3.3 million even if they didn't do any work at all so when you make those big promises to people people are going to come back and expect big deliveries even if they didn't do the work even if they were not qualified even if you didn't need their skill set even if they were a horrible partner do you understand so i would be really cautious what i try to do is i try my best not to use external partners when i first launch a business um until i know what the business looks like until i know what the opportunities are and how this thing is going to work and where the needs are do you understand and then i might dole out if if i really really truly need partnership i might dole out a little partnership here a little partnership there but if i can just pay people to do a certain task for me a lot of times i'd rather do that because then you have the accountability you don't have to worry about giving away a chunk of your ownership uh things like that the only time i give away big parts of ownership is when somebody's bringing some major heat to the table that means that you're bringing a vast network that i can that we can sell a product to you know you've got two million facebook fans or a hundred you know or a million or whatever and and you can bring traffic to the new site we're starting then yeah you're you're probably a good partner at that point we can do a contract if you're bringing you know 50k or 10 even 10k it doesn't have to be 50 It'd be five ten thousand dollars uh for for an unknown entity then yeah you might be a good partner there too um if you're bringing tremendous skill um that might make it a good partnership if i know i can trust you if i've worked with you in the past maybe you're my best friend and we've done stuff together before so i know you're not gonna flake out on me then in those situations if i need a partner then then we can partner but most of the time i think that you want to just be really cautious about that uh because i've just seen those situations just really go south so i hope that that was helpful information to you uh mr torrance uh, i'm dr boyce Watkins from the black business please take care god bless i'll talk to you guys soon Bye bye